OMG, out of that horrid uniform. I hate it. It's so ugly and has no brand. It's not even Ralph Lauren. You'd think at $50,000 a semester they would have decent uniforms by Gucci or at least Michael Kurz. Do they not know who I am? I don't go to school with ordinary people. Welcome home, Miss Cartier. How was your day at school? Whatever. Don't look at me. I've told you that before. Here, take Versace out for his walk and be sure you use his Creed Royal fragrance spray before you bring him back. Yes, ma'am. Well, what are you waiting for? An engraved invitation. OMG, you are so stupid. I told her no red, I hate red, she did this to me on purpose, it is all her fault, she did this to embarrass me. How can I have anyone here? It is so ugly. It is horrible. I will have her fired. She will never work in this town again. She has no idea who I am and who my daddy is. If she did she would never cross me. I think that may have been a little over the top reaction, Chanel. Who the hell are you? Security. Don't bother, Chanel. I'm the truth fairy. I'm here to lay a little truth on you. You obviously do not know who you are talking to, or you would be more respectful and deferential. Oh, Chantel Vuitton Cartier, I know the truth about you. Of course you would not know the truth. Even if it came and pissed on your $1,000 red soul Christian Louboutin patent leather pumps. How dare you? You know nothing about me. Well, you think you are Queen Bee of St. Albans Country Day Academy just because you are rich, pretty and your daddy donated a new gymnasium just to get you into the school. You have a posse of people who follow you around and feed your fragile ego. They are terrified of you. You think you are superior to everyone at the school, although it is full of rich kids and is one of the most expensive and elite academies in the country. Everyone says, I am the most beautiful girl in the whole school. I have hundreds of friends. Everyone loves me, they all say so. I am the most stylish and most fashionable person in the whole school. We have to wear these dreadful uniforms, but I fill it out and carry off the look better than anyone. Every girl in the school wants to be like me. I see. Girls and boys come up to me all the time to tell me how beautiful and charming I am. It can be such a problem being so much better than everyone else. I deserve it of course. They are always doing special little favors for me or giving me gifts to try to win my favor. Poor things they will never be as good as me. Well, it does sound like you are a pretty special young lady. You have it all. Money. Popularity. Good looks, what more could one ask for? Yes everyone is so envious of me. But it is hard being so wonderful. You have no idea what I have to put up with. So that is why you destroyed your room? Because it was so terrible someone bought you a red sofa? It's no big deal, daddy pays for it and he does not care what I spend. We are rich. I think the truth is daddy just does not care. He did not want you to begin with and then when he found out you were not a boy to carry on his name, he just shuffled you off to a series of nannies and caretakers. Daddy loves me he gives me anything I want. Well, he has his people pay for whatever I want, and he does not say no. He's a busy man, he does not have time for silly things. He makes money so he can have the best because I deserve it. Does he know about your feelings of inner emptiness? or your feelings of defectiveness and insignificance because you were only a girl. You cannot say that to me. You have no right. Does daddy know you belittle others to hide your own shortcomings and preserve your delusional self-image? How dare you? Look at you in your silly leggings and tacky t-shirt. How dare you talk to me so rudely? Know your place. If either of your self-absorbed parents bothered to look, they would see that you have never learned, you, are not the center of the universe. 
you become enraged when others don't meet your immediate demands. You have an overdeveloped sense of entitlement. Look around child at the chaos you leave in your wake. Leave me alone. Leave here at once. I'll have security throw you out. You are not allowed to abuse me so. I am only holding up a mirror of truth. The abuse is self-imposed. Do any of your so-called friends know about your bulimia? Do they know you hide food in your locker and then purge in the bathroom at the school gym? That's not true. How can you know that? Those feelings of unworthiness are painful wounds that fester. I know you are trying to fill that void, the emptiness and abandonment you feel with drugs, food, and sex. This is risky behavior that will not end well for you. You need professional help. I know about your shoplifting. It is a premeditated intent to steal and is done for the purpose of expressing anger and avenging a perceived wrong. I could pay for it. I just like the thrill. It's no big deal. While engaging in these activities may help you feel better in the moment, in the long run they can do more harm than good to you and all your close relationships. You have a lot in common with the children of the very poor. Oh now that is not only a lie, it is disgusting. I have nothing in common with such trash people. They are burdens on society. I am a gift to society. You think so? Well the villain in the piece is not money, but the parental relationship. You and the poor kids are deprived children. The children of the poor are a special group, suffering from discrimination, inadequate parenting, or despised models for adult behavior. Their parents are often absent. Children of the poor tend to feel frustration, hopelessness, boredom, cluster in groups of like people. They have little tolerance for frustration, low empathy and have a poor sense of self. And so what has that to do with me? Are your parents good parental role models? Do you feel frustrated, hopeless, bored? Do you hang out with other rich kids just like you? Do you have anger issues? Little or no empathy? And in reality do you cover up your poor sense of self-worth with your haughty self-entitlement? Parental neglect is the most often cited cause of psychological problems in children of wealth. You my child are afflicted with affluenza. Wow. What can I do? You need help, professional help. But only you can make it better. You have to want it. The path you are on looks for all the world to be ideal. Little do they know the heartache and pain you hide. Choose, but choose wisely. It is your life to save or destroy. The truth is I wish you well.